Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and quick review of the Logitech KC10 for Windows computers. This is a chiclet style keyboard which is full sized and the unique selling point here is that this is waterproof. It's also a washable keyboard so it's going to be great for maybe education uh, purposes for institutions, uh, libraries, uh, hospitals and after it's dirty you can just then toss it into a dishwasher or maybe even rinse it off with water uh, to get rid of any germs or dust that gets accumulated. It is pretty similar to a lot of other chiclet style keyboards that Logitech has been rolling out in terms of style. It's under the same kind of catalog and design that we've seen which offers rounded and organized corners, which creates a very modern look. This is a membrane style keyboard, however, as opposed to being a, let's say, mechanical keyboard. So the keys themselves do not have as much of a click to them as I would love to see, but uh, overall it still is quite responsive and easy to use. Because this is a waterproof keyboard, the price is risen a little bit more. The K310 sells for about $100 MRSP and can be found on Amazon for sub $70. So again, a bit more expensive considering this is a wired USB uh, keyboard. It is using USB 2.0 technology, so you can work with any Windows computer, just plug and play. It also will work with uh, most Mac computers I've tested with. Uh, it comes in this one color, uh, just kind of this black and white monochromatic design and look. Overall, definitely very elegant. Um, Something interesting about this is the back of the keyboard also has a very nice cyan blue look to it, which is uh, offers a bit more of a vibrant, friendly design uh, from a visual perspective. Other things to know about this particular keyboard, there is a dedicated number pad or numpad on the right, which is great for calculations, uh, again for schools, which is good. It's durable because the keys themselves have uh, been etched using laser and have a UV coating to them, so they can't be worn down over time as easily as a cheap uh, member keyboard that you might get out of the box with a desktop. So this is definitely an upgrade, upgrade in terms of the durability and also have some shortcuts built in. The overall weight of the item is 5.3 ounces, so it's not too uh, heavy either. It's good for maybe portability purposes. If you do have something like a laptop or maybe a tablet with a USB port, this might be something good to consider. Uh, again, because you can just wash it and it is you know, highly durable in that sense. Well, taking a closer look at the design now, you can see that the spacebar itself is quite wide, and overall this is also a relatively quiet keyboard. It has a slightly uh, silent tone to it, even though everything is very consistent uh, in terms of the clicking sound, so it's not going to annoy someone if you are using it let's say in a dorm room uh, where you have someone else nearby. The spacebar is very consistent, so no matter where you press on it, it creates the same even spacing. Something I like about the keys here is that they are kind of divoted at the center, they curve inwards, uh, which makes it very comfortable when your fingers are resting naturally on it, even though this isn't an ergonomic keyboard with a split design. You can see here the top also features media controls for playing, pausing your music, widescreen mode uh, that is compatible with Windows 8 and Windows 10 that we're starting to see now, and the side also features dedicated arrow keys and controls uh, and again the aforementioned numpad. Uh, the caps lock key also does have a backlight once you are tapping on that. In terms of uh, typing task testing and performance is concerned, I got a pretty reasonable speed with the K310. Uh, this wasn't the most comfortable or the highest uh, speed I've gotten out of this same layout just because I find the keys to still be a little bit different from a traditional membrane keyboard even. Uh, they do feel a bit more mushy just because they are, again, waterproof. Um, same thing I found with other waterproof keyboards in the past. Not the best uh, in terms of everyday comfort, but you do get used to it and it is something, uh, some, something of a trade-off for that added durability especially if you need it. The wire itself is pretty durable and long, and I would say it's about two meters in length. It also features a cap for the USB tip to prevent damage from happening when you are putting it into water. Pretty traditional stuff. And flipping over the keyboard, we see that there are instructions for cleaning it. There's also the ability for you to uh, pop open the arms here, so you can get a tilted angle for typing, which is more comfortable. There's also soft touch rubber feet, which prevents the keyboard from sliding around, which works nicely considering the keyboard is quite lightweight. There's also a brush attached, which is a neat little accessory that we don't tend to see a lot of. Uh, it's a dust brush, so if you have something like attached to the bottom, because again, these are pretty wide keys in terms of uh, risen above the surface, you can easily use this to kind of get in there and clean it out. 
Another thing that works nicely with cleaning is Play-Doh or Cyber Clean Jean, which we also reviewed a few years back. At the but, end of the day, the Logitech K310 washable keyboard is a good solution for those who need that added durability uh, because it still looks like a traditional keyboard in terms of size. It's small, it's uh, very modern looking because of this chicket layout. It kind of reminds me of a typewriter almost because of how the keys are so risen above the surface. Uh, it's very comfortable in terms of posture and when you're using it, uh, even though Typing, the clicking sound could be a bit more crisp in my opinion, just to make it a little bit better. And the price is still, again, a little bit more expensive just because it is washable. I still think this is a decent value and a decent design for what you are getting. To learn more information about this particular keyboard, be sure to check out our full written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching, Cure OS Review.